Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow engineers or engineer to be. It's me again, Peter. Today we're going to be looking into a different video lab series, which is enrolling a personal Linux device in Intune. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I'm not going to be fast forwarding the video anymore. So I would like you to have the real feel of what a lab environment is because sometimes when you're doing yours, you make mistake or we make mistake. We're going to fix it anyway on the way. So if you have any question, please put it down in the comment section. You can always fast forward this video, go back, go forward as much as you can. The idea here is to learn. So let's get started. I actually navigate to this Microsoft documentation and read it a little bit and check the system requirements, which is the Ubuntu Desktop 2204. I don't have this server yet, so I'm going to create one. If you have been following my if you have been following my video tutorial uh, using uh, VMware Workstation Pro, it's now going to be new to you. So what I did right here is just, okay, let me cancel it again, just new machine, next, next, and select my Ubuntu server, next. So just follow the process. I put my name, Peter, username, then put my password. All right, so I go on next. Is asking me to actually name my virtual machine. I'm going to put it autopilot UB01. So, next, I actually specify where I need that to be. So, I click on next. Okay. In the real time, I just follow the recommendation that I have from v uh, the VMware Workstation Pro. You can always change it. I mean, if you are, I mean, if you have more experience in Linux, I don't. <laughs> this would be like maybe my first or second time of doing this. So I'm going to power up my machine, and I'm going to wait for the machine to come up. Looks like we're going to have some fun right here. The idea is to enjoy the the process. So if I'm not talking, you keep enjoying the music or you can fast forward the video a little bit. But the idea is just for me to show you the whole process and how everything is going to look like. So let's see what we have here in deploying our first Ubuntu server. I think it shouldn't take that long, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Wow, look at that. All right, so we have to choose our language. Wow, okay, continue. All right, what apps would you like to install? Not my installation. Okay, that's good for me. Continue. Okay, install now. So if you continue, the change listed below will be written to your disk. Otherwise, you will be able to make further changes manually. I'm okay with that. Maybe later in the future, I'm going to learn more about Linux. Maybe just take a few classes. Okay, who are you, Peter? Your computer name is uh, 
APUB01. Pick a username. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm gonna pick my, do my password. Okay, and now I wanna log in, in automatically, so that is good for me. I'm going to click on continue. So let's see the magic. Like I mentioned, if you don't want to see all these beautiful installation, you can always fast forward the video a little bit so that you can actually go ahead of the time. I just don't want to fast forward anything anymore in order for us to have the beautiful experience. Look at that, you can actually see what is going on and <laughs> this is very scary. Wow, nice, you can see what is going on right here, so which is okay, which is good, I love this. Love that. I 
I really love that. Alright, so the installation is completed, so we need to restart right now. Okay, this is looking beautiful. Alright, look at that, beautiful. So, I don't want to connect my account right now, so I'm going to skip. Next, 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 done. So, wow, look at me, I wanted to go like refresh. So, let's go back to our documentation. Now that we have this, so. Our prerequisite is actually to download the Microsoft Edge. Let's see how we can do that. I think what we have to do is double click on this. And, um, wow, beautiful. Download Edge. So you come over here. Okay. Well, it's coming in Spanish. Change to English, download Edge. Okay, let me just download this. Actually, we, actually we, let's see what it's saying. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, I think it's the best to do this. So we're just going to install that one. You might get the same. So I think it's the best to install this. So that we don't have issues with our with our installation. Alright here, while he's actually doing his things, we wanted to download um, Edge for Linux. So like I went to the well, the only browser that I find here is Firefox. So I just put like download edge. So I'm going to come over here, the first one, we have many options right there, so I wanted to download this. So I'm going to click on accept and download, so I'll close. So it looks like it's doing its things right here, 
and the update is going on right here. So, Peter Patience, because we really wanted to make sure that this enrollment is actually go smooth as as possible. So we don't want to have any update issue. This is the first or second time I'm actually working with Linux. So you really wanted to uh, make sure that you have everything updated, which is what we are doing right here. That is interesting. Why this is actually going through? Okay, we have this download already. So we're gonna keep it there. Why this is going through, you can go ahead and take coffee or if you wanted to take some tea. So why this is finishing his thing so I'll be right back
All right. After the the restart, I'm trying to bring up the bring up the download that we actually made. So as you can as you notice, I just click on it. Now we have it downloaded right here. So let's go back to our PC and see what else. We need to install the Microsoft Intune app. So I'm going to open this into the next uh, next browser. All right. Now this is where I think you have to be very careful. If we have to make sure that we do this, this sign is not going to be there anymore. It's going to be this. Why? Well, I will show you now. Let's go back to our Linux device. I'm going to close this out. We're going to go over here and we're going to open the terminal. So now in the terminal, we're going to make it bigger. The dollar sign is already exist. So what I did is just copy and paste and also be very careful because when you copy and paste, it copies a lot of stuff that we don't need. So we click on enter, it's asking me for the password. So they want to continue, yes. All right, so looks like everything is looking well. So now, please be very careful. We have 2004 and we have 2204. So most of the time, people just go with the first one. So since we already went to this link on our PC, we'll take a look into this on how to install. We're actually doing 2204 right here. Remember that you have actually update and download the update, so it's going to be 2204. There's a command that you can use to check the version that you have, uh, which is, um, I don't have it right here, but there's a command that you can run to check the, the version, but I'm pretty sure that I have the correct version right here. So I will go ahead with the, with the documentation, and I'm going to start doing this. Just copy and paste. Please make sure that what you are copying is the right thing that you copy from the page. All right, we go back again. We copy the same. If you have more time, you can actually investigate more on the URL. But for the sake of this lab, this is what I'm going to be using. So this is the big one. I'm going to copy and paste. Enter. Now, I'm going to copy this one also and paste. Okay, this is what I was saying. You see that he put like a different character right here, which we don't need. So we're going to remove that. That is a sad part of copy and pasting here in Linux. I still don't have additional information on how to do that, but hey, it's something that we can learn. So it looks like we are ready and we're going to install a Microsoft Intune app. Oh, look at that. Everything is working as expected though. Yeah. I'm loving this because we don't have any error message and the documentation is pretty perfect. It's clean. So for me, it's okay. Oh, so it looks like we are done. So let's go back pretty fast. So it said that, uh, okay, we have to reboot the device. Why not? I can do that. So I just go over here, restart.
All right. There we go. So I got to check. Wow, let's go and verify that we have intern here. Look at that. We do. <laughs> nice. So it's asking us to run this command to actually update the Microsoft intern app. Let's give it a go. So we go back again to our server. We go to the, we open the terminal. Paste again. It's asking us for password. We go back again. We do this. See that everything is looking awesome right here. So, okay, it said if we wanted to uninstall the app, and now we don't want to uninstall it. Now, let's go back to our documentation right here. So, since we already have this done, we have this Intune's app done, so we are good to go to enroll our device. So, it said open the Microsoft Intune app. So we're going to do that. I'm going to close this out. So where's the intern? This one. And I think the next step is to sign in, review the pre-enrollment uh, pre screen. Next, begin enrollment with a few minutes. And that's it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Microsoft intern is ready. All right, look at that. So I'm going to put in my user one. All right, most of the time, and this is going to be the second time that I actually have these to be honest, that I don't have the pitch coming up. I still don't figure out why that is happening. So what I'm going to do here is just to pause this video and, I'll, and I'm going to restart my, my machine. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I actually uh, have my machine back, I wanted to check on something to be honest because this would be the second time I get this error message and it's not really it doesn't really look pretty for me I'm not very happy with this so let's see what I can do right here I did it for some reason I'm not getting okay let me do it again I'm not getting the the login page is not coming up and this is not a Microsoft issue to be honest because it actually works for me before but since I'm pretty new to Linux I'm not I still don't have the experience on how to look at that it's not responding okay Maybe what I need to do here is just to check the update for this machine. Okay, just close everything out. I'm going to check the update for this machine so we can update the machine. Again, okay, maybe that is the issue. So, you might actually encounter the same error right here. So, just as an add up. This is a lab environment. A lot of things might have contributed to the error message that I'm getting. So I just wanted to see if what package I updated. Okay, let's see. All right, maybe there's something wrong. Not sure right here. So one thing I wanted to do right here is that 
Let me go ahead and upgrade this. Let me upgrade this. Okay, zero upgrade, zero install, zero remove, zero not upgrade. So it looks like everything is should be working perfectly. Let's try again. User one. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's do something. Alright, so I'm going to remove maybe we have the 2004 repro here. So I'm going to remove it. Let's see if we have it here. Yeah, you know, because it's not found. Then it's because I don't to be honest, I don't have it. Just wondering what will have happened. Okay. I got some application update right here. So let's try again. Let's put this aside. Let's close this. Let's wait. Let's sign in again. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I think what happened is that we haven't launched the, we haven't launched the edge. I think it's going to ask us, yeah, I think this is what happened. I'll figure it out. This is what happened. This is what happened. I think edge have to be launched before we have let's see yeah i think this should resolve the issue this should resolve the issue this should resolve the issue now let's go ahead and launch it again where's the app Look at that, that resolved the issue. So, please, okay, wait, just wait, let me log in. Please make sure that you actually launch the edge. Come on, what's going on? Okay, you look, look at that. Now I can register my device. So this is the reason why I wanted to show you the full video experience so that if you face this in your lab, then now you know what to do. You know what to do. So the best way for me is to show you what is going on here. So let me log in again, user one. It looks like the device is actually registering. Let's go back to our PC. I'm going to go to my endpoint management or uh, admin center. I'm going to click on Linux. Then I wanted to see that device here. Okay, begin. Begin. Now it's registering our device. Awesome! This is looking pretty right now. I'm super grateful. So it looks like it's checking the status just to make sure that we're compliant. Yes, we are. Let me go back to... I think it takes a little bit to come over here. So we just have to wait. Want to refresh it again? Checking the status. Peter, patience, patience. 
patience, patience. Patience, patience. Yeah, it's looking really good right now. I'm super grateful. Like, I think this lab worth it. Like, we're able to get this device and roll in Intune finally. And all we are waiting for is for the device to show here. It normally takes some time, to be honest. And, um,. Let's wait because we have to see the device is actually showing up in the Microsoft Endpoint Management uh, Manager Admin Center. It's going to show up. So keep enjoying the music. I'll be right back. Alright, let's refresh again. Oh, the device is still now here. Okay, let's go ahead and restart this. Our device is here. Look at that. It takes a while, but it finally shows up, and I'm super grateful. We have our Linux device right here. Super grateful. Look at that with the primary user in the enrollment operating system, Linux. Wow, that is good. Look at that compliant. So, for now, that is actually how we enroll. Uh, Linux device and intern. Thank you so much for doing this lab with me. I'm super grateful. And uh, maybe in the next video, we're going to be saying now uh, get Microsoft intern app for Linux. Not yet. I'm not. I mean, I still don't have that in agenda. So, oh yeah, no, not that one because we actually <laughs> we actually go through this uh, step during this video. With that being said, I think the mission is accomplished. Thank you so much for the time. Keep enjoying the rest of the day and I'm going to see you in the next video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video if you find it valuable. Thank you so much. Have a nice time.